are finally going to do it. We're going to talk about getting your dog to come when called. Okay, some really important things that you need is a snack that your dog loves, like his most favorite treat. Um, and you want them to be soft. You don't want crunchy treats, you want super soft treats. I like cheese, I like hot dogs, um, cat treats uh, that are really tiny because you only want to give them a small amount. You want also a, this is a utility line, but I got this at Walmart for I think $3.88. Um, and could have been closer to five. But this is 25 feet long. This would be the maximum length that you would start with. Um, eventually, what I personally like is about 15 feet. But this can you can cut this in half and have two because I have two dogs, <laughs> so that'll work. And then you're also going to need to pick up whatever kind of um, clip that you like so that you can get it on their collar. So let's put this together so that we can get it on Chloe and we can get started. Okay, so you want to do whatever kind of fancy knot. It's not a fancy knot, <laughs> but it'll work for my dog. So you just want to get this attached onto there. They also have some metal clamps that you can purchase that you can clamp around. Those are my favorite, and I'll probably try to pick up some of those and undo this and fix that, but this will work for now. And then throughout your lead, you want to put a knot, just quite a few of them. Um, and what this particular knot is for is so that when your dog tries to run away from you, you can step on this leash and this, your foot will catch on a knot and it'll stop instead of just slipping directly out from underneath your foot. It's uh, really important for some of your larger dogs. So we're gonna put this on here and we're gonna let her drag it around. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're actually just going to drop this leash, let her drag it around, and when she gets almost to the end of it, I want you to do something to get her attention. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the very end of it. She's really excited to be let loose. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, free. Free. Can't get her to ignore me now. <laughs> Okay, so what you're wanting to do is get your dog to basically ignore you, say their name as soon as they look at you, 
you give your recall command. Mine is the word here, and it's because when you say the word here, it automatically you go up in your voice. So it's a higher pitched word in general. Where your word come is naturally a harder word so that it encourages the dog to come uh, faster and in a more fun manner, the higher pitched the, the word. So choose whatever word you decide that you wanna use. I've had a client use the word kitty kitty. So <laughs> whatever works for you, unless you're gonna be showing an AKC and then you have to use the word um, come or here are appropriate words. So what I'm wanting her to do is just ignore me when she gets a little bit of little bit towards the end of her lead, her draw drag line. So this is called. Then I say her name. When she looks at me, I run the opposite direction, and that encourages the prey drive of your dog to run as fast as they can toward you. And as your dog gets to you, you want to have your treat ready and down to their face as you back up and give them the treat. What you don't want to do is stand there very firm, very straight, very uh, and call your dog. You're not the most fun thing on the in the planet right now when you act that way. So you want to make yourself the most fun so that the dog really wants to come to you. When you start doing this, you want to do it with the least amount of distractions as possible. And then as your dog is coming really, really well and you, you almost can't get them to not look at you, you want to start adding distractions. Um, and at that point, you would give a tug on your leash. And then again, as soon as they look at you, you say your recall word and you run the opposite direction. So let's watch that again. Okay, free. So I'm going to ignore my dog until she starts ignoring me. Howie, here! to teach a release word my word is free it's not a word that I use in my regular vocabulary um, the word okay uh, is also one that people use but I actually use that word in my regular vocabulary and you don't want to use a word that you say normally because if you have your dog on a downstay or something like that and you're talking to somebody on the phone and you go uh-huh okay you're gonna release your dog not meaning to so I'm out of breath because it's a hill and I'm out of shape. <laughs> but she loves this game. Um, this is a game that you can do at your dog parks or with other dogs around. Um, unless you have a dog that has some food aggression, you probably wouldn't want to do that, but you could do it with a toy. So if you have a toy motivated dog, you do the same thing with the toy. They get the toy, they get to play, they get to tug when they get to you. Um, that is basically how you're gonna do it. If you have a puppy that's never done this before, um, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna use a lighter lead because they're not gonna be able to pull something that's this big and chunky. Or they can just drag their leash um, and they're not gonna get too far from you because there's this fear starter response of being abandoned by the pack. So. If you call your dog and take off running in the opposite direction, the puppy will automatically go, ah! But if you get too far from them, they'll just hunker down. So, <laughs> so you have to find that balance with your dog. But this will teach a good recall. And in our next recall um, lesson, we'll be doing it with distractions. So go get started 
work with your dog. Do this as many times until you can't get them to not look at you. Happy training.